Um, well, kind of what he was talking about with the couple. What if there's just one of us that's going to do the positive aspect thing? Can I fix? Uh oh. <laughs> I guess that's my problem. Well, it better be enough because it's all you've got. Right. In other words, and, and, and we really want you to hear that. In other words, yes, of course it's enough. That's what the power of influence is. But what keeps it usually from working is that when your interpretation of your relationship is, I'm willing to do the work and you're not. Now there's an expectation in your vibration that prevents you from rendezvousing with the part of the relationship that you want to rendezvous with. And so we know it's, it's really why we spent so much time in our opening remarks here today. We know that when there is a reality that is occurring, it gets your attention. We just want you to decide that you're not going to let the reality of the relationship as it is right now dominate the way you think and feel about it. And if you don't, if you don't let what is dominate the way you think and feel about it then you can become a vibrational match to everything that you've carved out of it in other words there are there are so many often people will say my second marriage was better than my first or my third was better than the first two or my fourth were better than the first three in <laughs> other words uh, people are often moving on moving on moving on and the reason that it gets better and better is because with all of that sifting they are asking with greater clarity but it isn't until they stop focusing upon the part of it that they don't want that they become a vibrational match to the part of it that they do want so Yes, in answer to your question, one who is in the vortex, consistently aligned with the relationship that you really want, has the power of influence to evoke or to attract the other more and more often into the vortex too. But we don't want to leave you thinking that this creative work is about you adjusting your vibration so that you can change the behavior of others we want you to think about adjusting your vibration so that you can match the full version of what you've put there and so in order to make what we just said really clear we want to ask you a few questions when we talk about the bounce side of the vibrational wave does that make sense to you yeah so does it make sense to you that while you may be looking at aspects of your partner or of your relationship that are unpleasing or troubling, does it make sense to you that there is a proportionate improved relationship that is forming in this vibrational reality because of that clarifying, contrasting exposure? Yes. So, so then you can accept that you've got this relationship and you've got this relationship. So the question, the, the answer to your question, but the question that we want you to ask yourself is if you believe that you've got two relationships going now, we know this one's more compelling. This is the one that comes home at night that we, we know <laughs> that this is the one that you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch. But if you accept that you have two relationships, one that is past tense, and one that is really present tense and you decide that you're going to tune to the present tense relationship you're going to tune to the one that feels good you're going to align to who you are and to all that you've created here when you accept that then it is our promise to you that that one has to become this one the manifestation has to become the same now hear the hear the difference in the important question that you ask if if you believe that you have to stand in the current relationship and through your words and action convince another to be different now you've lost your power because you had to leave the vortex in order to accomplish that but if you accept that no coercion no convincing has to take place that it's just the alignment between you and you 
now you come into your power and now one who's in the vortex is more powerful than millions who are not you see that's what the power of influence is right. and what's troubling you about it and it's something that troubles a lot of people about it is it Abraham are you saying that I can get in the vortex and I can become so influential that I can get what I want from everyone and isn't there a little coercion in that and we say you can when you get into your vortex the universe will yield to you from every particle of the universe what you want as it is now doing in other words we want to convince you that it's not that your partner's not doing the work or not even that your partner doesn't agree with the work you're doing it's your attention to that that holds that in your vibration if 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 your partner has five characteristics that you really like and five that you don't like and you would get into the vortex where only the ones you do like are and you would train your vibration your attention only to those aspects that you like the five that you don't like would be would not become part of the mix of your experience but what happens with most people who are facing reality is that you focus on the stuff you like that you focus on the stuff you don't like you keep it all active so it all keeps coming and then it feels like you need to do something different and we say no that's never true you need to do something different you need to tune yourself to the best part of your partner and when you tune yourself to the best part of the other what happens is you join forces with the energy that creates worlds and law of attraction this powerful engine of the universe who is gathering all cooperative components brings the cooperation right to you and this is the thing that is so fun to tell people like you who have really good relationships going on is that it's not just that the universe is going to reach out and find another partner who is more cooperative to you and bring it the universe will reach right into that partner and bring cooperation oh that's what i was hoping <clears throat> that's good <laughs> so i really like him yes yeah good reason yeah and so sometimes i get sometimes it's so weird I, I really like this guy a lot and he really likes me too and i get nervous like i get he makes me nervous and we've been together for a long time now but he will i will get whacked out in my vibration and he will immediately respond to it and go away and then I will relax and then he'll immediately come back well, we would like to tell you the secret to attracting a, a a partner who consistently feels more comfortable with you when when really when your dominant intent is alignment with who you are so you're taking out of the equation any pointing at him to change he's gonna really like hanging around you when yeah. when you completely accept the responsibility for your own happiness oh man he is going to enjoy that so very much you see yeah. uh, imagine the freedom that you or anyone would feel if someone says to you it is my intent to keep myself in a really good place and it's not your job to feather my nest I'm gonna do everything I can to keep myself in a really good place because I want to have a really good life with you that's the perfect formula for a wonderful relationship but on the other side of that is well I want a good life and I know you want one for me and as as you behave in that way I'm not having a very good life so you need to give up some patterns and maybe even some things you want for me well that's like asking water to flow uphill <laughs> consistently in other words it, it people everyone you just have to accept it it is the most natural thing in the world for everyone to selfishly want to feel good you see so you're like a breath of fresh air when you sweep in and say I want to feel good and I work to keep myself feeling good and when I feel good and we're together oh it is a wonderful thing but you're not responsible for my feeling good the majority of relationships that break down are because and of course it's never accurate or or appropriate to throw a blanket over anything and call it all the same but very often women feel insecure and so they ask for changes and men want freedom and the more insecure she feels the more freedom he doesn't feel and that is the basis of most broken relationships where if you and that's why when you get out of whack in your vibration your words when you're out of whack and therefore not feeling good then all that stuff he starts thinking that 
that he needs to do something different which he doesn't want to do and often can't do or he thinks that you think he should and if you can make it very very clear I'm out of whack and it doesn't have anything to do with you I got to get myself into alignment because if there's one thing that I promise myself every day say to him it's that I'm going to be as in alignment and therefore as feeling good and therefore as clear-minded and as fun and as full and as frisky as I can be as I interrelate with you he's gonna love hearing that and and then as time goes on and he sees you in one of your off moments he'll say you need some space don't you <laughs> in other words because somebody that says what can I do there that's headed for trouble if you've got a partner that every time you're out of wax says, what can I do to make it better you have to say to them run and save your own life <laughs> <laughs> because 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 if 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 you let them try to make your life better you'll your law of attraction will just bring more trouble for them to solve and then before long and it won't be very long your relationship is one where the other is resenting you see right. where if you're both stable and sure and then coming together because you're stable and sure oh what a wonderful relationship that is yeah evolving changing growing expanding becoming and feeling good every step along the way